Praise be Jesus Christ, and thank you, my friends, for joining us a new week to praise the Lord. I'm Father Ron, Sister Kara. She's got our reflection for today on Sacred Scripture. We are truly blessed. Thank you for being here. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 18 Majesty It is no wonder that I love you, O God. You have granted me a security that I could never find among the things of the world. You have erased from my life the fear of death. What follows the grave no longer causes fearful concern. You are never out of reach, but are ever aware of my conflicts and my need for you. How great and all-powerful is my God! The quaking of the earth, the shaking of the mountains, the blackness of the night, the beauty of the heavens, the breeze that brushes my face. How glorious in the majesty of God all around me. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Colossians, chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in Him, rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Growing up in a pretty Catholic household, going to Sunday Mass was a regular thing. With four kids, our parents operated under what I call the Donut Doctrine. If you could behave the entire Mass— this means not karate chopping your sister during the Our Father. Yeah, thanks for that, brothers. This means folding your hands reverently while walking up for communion and staying quiet during the homily. They were some of the qualifications for a donut. We lived for these donuts. And when a donut was denied due to some disqualifying behavior, it was like someone canceled Christmas. And I will say, sometimes a donut was denied for tattling on a brother. Not that that ever happened to me or anything. As a child, attending Sunday Mass was only the necessary means to an end. Delicious donuts. But was that really what we were supposed to be learning? Was this the faith I was being taught? By showing up Sunday after Sunday, eventually Mass became less about donuts and more about Jesus. I realized that my parents were teaching us that if we can make church a priority in our lives, even if it's just showing up at first, God can work with that. When I went off to college and started to organize my new life, guess what was on top? Being part of a faith community, going to Mass deepening my relationship with Jesus, and exploring my faith. What started with earning a donut grew into, it, grew into a deep reverence for Christ and hunger for communion. Not so silly after all, I guess. Our reading from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians reminds us to live in Christ, rooted in his love and built up in his most sacred heart, strengthened in the faith as we were taught, yes, even if that face started with donuts, and overwhelmed with gratitude for that gift. Yes, faith is such a gift, a gift I am grateful my parents taught me, and a gift that continues to open as my relationship with Christ deepens and my sense of vocation is strengthened. But what does it mean to be rooted in Christ? Well, I don't know if anyone else has been working in their garden this spring, but it's something that I've busied myself with at home. 
And boy, are there a lot of weeds. Some weeds are easy to pull up. They're shallow and skinny. Oh, and then there are the deep roots, thick and strong. I have to dig them out with a shovel, and sometimes I think I found the end and I pull with all my might, only to just break off the top. I want my relationship with Jesus to be like that plant, so firmly rooted that removing it from soil is nearly impossible. So how do I get roots like that? Well, I'd say by building that relationship with Jesus, living inside that mystery that I know I've shared about a couple times now, living and loving within the heart of Christ, recognizing that gift of faith and sharing gratitude. I think the more we seek Christ, the more he finds us. So as you pray today, consider who first shared those seeds of faith with you. With or without donuts, we all have an instance where those seeds were scattered. Have they taken root? How do you nourish those seeds of faith? How do you seek that deeper relationship with Christ? And be grateful. Recall a person who has been a significant companion on your faith journey. Pray for them and thank God for them. And if this reflection has you craving a donut now, treat yourself. Let us lift our hearts in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, I confess, in dark times, I sometimes feel that I get very little out of going to the throne of grace in prayer. But give me strength to go and stay there nonetheless. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we end, just wanted to call your attention to a beautiful thing that we do here at our house with the 12 priests that I live with. Every morning at Mass, we lift up in prayer any prayers or intentions that you have that you're praying that you'd like for us to lift with you. You just let us know what that is, and we're happy to do that every morning at Mass. And an easy way to do it, if you use our app to pray with us here at the God Minute, down at the bottom there's a little icon that says About. Just click on that and you can send us your prayer request right from there. Or if you don't use the app, you can get on the website, thegodminute.org, do it that way or send me an email, fatherron at thegodminute.org. <laughs> so hope that wasn't all too confusing. But let us know if we can pray with you for anything that's in your hearts. We're here to do it with you. Have a beautiful day, my friends, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>